नमस्कार यो अन्तर्वार्ता अनि म अरुणदेव जोशी आज पनि हामी कुरा गर्छौं क्रिकेटको तर यस पटक नेपाली क्रिकेट होइन हामी एसोसिएट क्रिकेटको कुरा गर्छौं एसोसिएट क्रिकेटमा पनि एउटा यस्तो देशको जुन कुनै बेला एसोसिएट क्रिकेटको शिखरमा थियो र अहिले धाराशायी भएको जस्तो अवस्थामा छ र पुनः क्रिकेट सर्किटमा फर्कने प्रयास गरिरहेको छ त्यो देश हो केन्या अहिले हामी त्यो केन्यन क्रिकेट क्रिकेट केन्याका अध्यक्ष मनोज पाटिलसँग कुरा गर्दैछौँ आज हामीले मनोज पाटिललाई स्टुडियोमा निम्त्याएका छौँ मनोजजी वेलकम टु द सो थ्याङ्क यू थ्याङ्क यू सर थ्याङ्क यू पसिबल कंग्रेचुलेसन्स फर यू टु बिकम द चेयरम्यान अफ क्रिकेट केन्या थ्याङ्क यू थ्याङ्क यू सो यु यु गट अ ल्यान्डस्लाइड भिक्ट्री अल द 51 बोट्स यु गट एन्ड योर रिवल्स गेट ओन्ली जिरो बोट्स यस व्हाट आई हाउ वाज द फीलिंग द फीलिंग वाज हाई द फीलिंग वाज गुड uh but it's all about you know it, it happens it happens and uh, we we are very good friends in fact uh, the person who got zero votes uh, he is my guru you know guru is uh, when i played world cup 2002 under 19 world cup he was our uh, manager at that time so i think that's a part so of so what uh, what made all of the members who were voting support you what 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 made them believe in you uh that one i think uh, it is just the work uh, which you do for the cricket uh, people i think they just see it and uh, uh, they select it so and plus staying with people working in cricket organizing tournaments so those are the things yeah it's a time of reviving in in cricket again so you have lots of uh, lots of burden in your shoulders yes uh, you can say that but uh, to me you see currently the board we have Uh, it's full of our heroes uh, full of our heroes who played cricket uh, at the peak time of kenya high time uh, the most of them uh, they have played more than 2 3 world cups so i think uh, they, I, they, my, they, are, they are in support with you yes yeah, they are in support with me and uh, some of them they are also in uh, my board also so all all the cricketing <coughs> fraternity of uh, kenya is held together to to make cricket, cricket kenya came back come back or? yes that is you can say that uh, as i said all of our legends uh, they they i think it will be easier uh, once we gel together and uh, work together it will be easier you know it's a big experience sometimes uh, i i see so many countries are struggling for coaches mm -hmm. and a uh, good thing about uh, all our ex players our heroes they are coaches uh thomas odoyo was a coach of, coach of uh, kenya then tikolo uh, odumbe tikolo. yeah they have retired but uh, they haven't retired from cricket they have been coaching they, yeah they have been coaching clubs as well since uh, in you can say australia. nations australia. not clubs australia. nations Aus they have some of the <coughs> clubs in australia as well yes uh, like Sir thomas odoyo he was a coach of kenya national team mm. then steve tikolo he coached uh, kenya then uganda tanzania mm. and we would like to bring bring him again back Uh, same with Martin Suji, uh, Joseph Angara, they are Botswana and Rwanda, they are the head coach there. Mm. So we are sure that uh, once we get them back, we'll have, we'll review our cricket. So you mentioned about 2002 under 19 cricket. Yeah. You were the part of that on the World Cup cricket. Yes, I was the opening batsman. But there was under 19, not the men. It was a junior yeah, cup. Yeah, I haven't played a big one. I played only one anyway, under 19. Anyway, international cricket. Yeah. And how was the <coughs> experience? Uh, as a as a international cricketer maybe you have the ambitions that time over that time you will be make, playing for the country playing with the other players like thomas odu and all this thing yes so yes how um, how was the experience and how the experience was too you know at that time uh, you could see the kenya cricket always in a tv our superstars heroes like kenya um, uh, they beaten uh, once india sri lanka even west indies uh, bangladesh most of the time zimbabwe So our cricket was really uh, really in high yeah it was in high which we'll try to bring it back again it will take time uh, but i'm sure in a couple of years uh, with the help of our legends we can bring it back I, if if you if you notice <coughs> that that was the international tournament from where nepal also come into international cr cricketing limelight uh, it was captained by a nepali team then was captained by binod das yeah, if you can remember in in that world cup nepal beat Pakistan over there. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember any uh, Nepali players and how they were playing? You didn't play together, but maybe uh, we have. No, Nepali. Nepali. I played only under 19 level. Uh, under 19 level, Binod Das. I know him. There was a guy called Manoj, and uh, a few guys I remember. 
Uh, in fact, I was uh, with. Uh, there, there was one of the greatest uh, Nepali batsmen Nepal ever produced. Kanishka Chaugain was there. Yes. Unfortunately, he had to left to the USA and he's over there. Okay. Is, is he still in a cricket? He is a coach? Yeah. Uh, he, he hasn't been in cricket, but but he, he is close to <coughs> cricket still, I think. Okay. He's close to cricket. He's not playing. Okay. Mm. And, and in the same the world, that World Cup, Nepal uh, be, uh, beat two teams and it was it was quite about to just just in the run rate he didn't yeah. go to the super six yes you are, you are talking about under 19 yes under 19 World Cup, yes yeah. under 19 i think that was even 2002 if i'm not wrong yeah. they, they beat it yeah. yeah they had a strong team played nepal was in plate championship final in the same world cup and they were runner of Zimbabwe won the plane championship and it, in the plate championship they beat namibia they beat scotland they beat canada yes so but after, after that Nepal hasn't performed so good in under 19 as well like like that performance Nepal yeah. is doing uh, good later on also but uh, and things is happening that who the players of under 19 yes. are <coughs> not going to the higher higher level they are not ab uh, able to go to higher level due to different reasons so why am I asking you to this is you have also played the under 19 yes in the same World Cup and during time but you also couldn't uh, mm. go to the higher level yeah. and what kind of factors do happen to that, that just, just like you have you have blood, cricket in the blood since you yeah. have become the chairman of yeah. the board also <coughs> so you were always in the cricket but that thing couldn't happen what kind of thing causes this <coughs> excuse me <coughs> no you know it depends like uh, our most of uh, our bench uh, under 19 boys uh, I think 90% of the boys they played for the main team apart from me and couple of guys and uh, there was a reason for that uh, the family business you can say uh, that's it nothing else uh, I remember 2002 World Cup uh, players 90% uh, they played and uh, still they are there in a team they are still there yeah I, I don't know the, about the Nepal but Kenya the, the, the cricket uh, structure everything is good not that bad yeah. okay and, and you are here for the uh, uh, actually for the you are uh, Kenyan board has proposed a series with Nepali cricket team so maybe you are here to uh, talk about that uh, yes, in fact, uh, the reason uh, we had an ICC meeting uh, Birmingham recently mm. uh, on 26th, but I uh, unfortunately I could not join there because okay. we had some come I had some visa some visa problem plus <coughs> some commitments in India and because I was in India and I missed the our Chaturji the chairman and the board members in Birmingham so I just say let me it's not far it's just a one and a half two hour flight so just to come and uh, say hello to board and appreciate them uh, because uh, we have invited them uh, for a series uh, T20 and uh, ODI which uh, they, are, they have shown the positiveness there and they are joining hopefully in a, a one and a half to two weeks so uh, it is confirmed now you are we are playing in kenya and uh, nepal or is it st still in the constitution no it is confirmed uh, but there are i think uh, because board and the team they were really busy they came from canada and uh, they had back to back uh, a series so and plus they have upcoming also local uh, t20 tournament mm -hmm. so the dates are only not confirmed but the tour is confirmed tour is confirmed the tour is confirmed so uh, what is the reason for you choosing nepal there are lots of countries lots of countries even around africa also play cricket and uh, some are doing better this time <coughs> like namibia and they are doing uh, they are also uh, they are also odi they are doing better than kenya if you are uh, trying to uh, find a, a team who are doing better this time so why you prefer Nepal? Uh, Nepal, there is a reason. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, reason we choose Nepal, actually there is no reason. But you know, ICC nowadays, all cricket playing nations, they are busy. So like, it's not like you want to play to Namibia. It all depends on a window, the space, uh, especially particularly a month you want to play. Uh, so first of all, you have to see which countries they, they don't have a games at that time. We asked uh, so many other teams also, but unfortunately there was no window. They had uh, tournaments and uh, different programs. So then actually we, we spoke to four to five teams, mm -hmm. whereby we got a very good response uh, from Nepal. So Nepal was straight away it was done. And then Zimbabwe also, Zimbabwe were to join. Uh, obviously Zimbabwe uh, A. Is, is it possible to be a <coughs> triangular series? Yeah, actually it was as a triangular series. Okay. But due to time and deadlines uh, and 
late confirmation you can say the sponsorship so many things so they, it, there can be no one or two reasons uh, so because of many other reasons we decided to have a bilateral series with uh, nepal yeah. okay how, how many games will be there uh, we are planning uh, t20 to start with the t20 like five uh, t20s and little bit break in between and then uh, to finish with odi three odis okay the odi will be list a uh, now it will be yeah. and then list a not yeah. ODA, but yes. uh, t20 will be all the t20s are international these days yes okay but uh, uh, actually you have a very glorious history kenya is not not that kind of uh, for other teams to come you have you 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 uh, kenya even kenya had a icc trophy over there once Yes. They invited lots of teams over there, and the ICC trophy happened over there. And you have very glorious history. Like you have uh, played five World Cups, yeah. yes, five World Cups uh, since 1999 to 2011. Yeah, and uh, you played ICC trophy also, yes, three times ICC time champions trophy. Yeah, uh, you, you, even you, and in, even in 75 and 79 in East Africa team, Kenya was the part. Yes, so they have you have a long glorious history. Yeah, and now. Your team is uh, like, a, like even you have no no ODI status. Yeah. You have uh, your team is all scattered and players are not gelled up. You have to mm -hmm. again making up a team, yeah. again uh, inviting other countries uh, to support to play the bilaterals. Oh, what what do you feel and what do the cricketers over there feel like seeing the uh, history like glorious history and now. Uh, it, it's all about, as I said, uh, that we have to, it's not about begging or, you know, ICC, it's about ranking, ranking of your team. Because obviously, Kenya cannot have a game with uh, India or Australia. So, it goes in a group-wise or a ranking-wise. But earlier, you, India <coughs> supported a lot yes, of Kenya. Yes, you, you are there. In, uh, India has supported a lot. First, first series was with India. Yes, India has supported a lot. Every now and then, the Ranji teams were coming to Kenya uh, every year. And Kenya is to come to India. Uh, and Kenya had a good relation with also other countries as they were there automatically qualified for the ODIs that time mm -hmm. but it will come back you see when you have a ranking your lower ranking uh, you get the numbered games uh, as you will see the, the, the big teams they are always there in a TV because that's the word they deserve ICC give you the games as per your rankings yeah, yeah, the number of games you say or a package, whatever you say. So I think for us to bring our cricket back, it is all about making our boys uh, play a lot of games, back-to-back -back games. Uh, like Nepal is there, Namibia is there, Zimbabwe, our neighbor country is there. So th that will make, uh, it will uh, make our team to come back. Yeah. Okay, like uh, just after you became associate in uh, 18, 1981, yeah. Kenya became independent associate member. And uh, uh, like after that, from uh, uh, in you are participated in five World Cups. You even beat uh, West Indies in just a second match of the uh, second international match. Yeah, you beat yes. West Indies, and it was with team with Brian Lara yeah. and bowlers like Courtly Ambrose. Ambrose and was there. Courtly yeah. Ambrose was there. Courtney, Courtney it was their full team. Walls was there. Yeah. Courtney Walls was there. <coughs> yeah, it was a great team. One of the greatest, greatest West Indian team. Yeah. After the uh, uh, after Clive Lloyd team, that that was one of the greatest West Indian team. So, how was the feeling over there? Like uh, uh, when you see Glory City, when cricketers see your Glory City, how they get inspired, or how 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 it happens? Uh, the f the feeling is uh, we, as I said. You see, before our team was automatically there. All, all the World Cups, as you say, back to back five World Cups. You yeah, play. you were one yeah. ODI stairs after ninety six <coughs> World Cup. You yes. Get so the feeling was uh, already there, but you know it's a different feeling when you are at the rank nine or ten and you are beating a team who is in rank three or four. Obviously, it's a very good, and especially when we beat even India also. Those yeah, are two, the two times you beat India. Yes, and that makes now youngsters like me. I was young that time, yeah. and our other under nineteen players. Uh, it b brings the inspiration yeah. of now. You beat India in ninety eight in Guwahati, and then in nineteen ninety nine in South Africa tri series. Yes. yes. So it was really a very high, very good feeling there. The and uh, like you said, you were automatically qualified at that time. You were full ODI status yeah. after 96 World Cup. Later on, uh, after uh, repeated uh, performance, you were uh, thrown out from ODI status. Yeah. So do you feel the pain of associate nations <coughs> now? Do you feel the associate nations, how they are 
struggling to become a full nation like Nepal is now struggling to yeah. keep their ODI status. Yeah. So how do you can feel the pain of this uh, associate nations that they are trying repeatedly and other teams are so uh, so big and so they are so uh, talented and they are getting so much matches they don't get matches the players don't get exposures still they have to compete with them. I know, but uh, there, there is. You see, uh, it is a system, ICC system. Obviously, we cannot complain why we are not getting many games as others, because to get many games, also we have to be there, uh, certain, uh, certain level. level, certain level, certain ranking wise. Yeah. So there is no bad feeling on that. To to get the more games, I think we need to perform and uh, uh, come into ODI first and then, then obviously and uh, it's a uh, ICC windows first yearly you mm. will find what games you have apart from that uh, we can have our like uh, we are inviting Nepal now it's not in ICC window mm. it's uh, we have bilateral, that bilateral yeah, yeah that kind of things are yeah, so those are the things we need to continue mm. yeah once Nepal comes and in maybe a couple of months or four months uh, we can come to Nepal same going to the Bangladesh uh, asking Bangladesh or maybe they are a team Zimbabwe a team yeah uh, okay, currently we cannot have India A, but uh, so Ranji teams we can invite. Uh, yes, mm. so I think that is the way we will make our company. So you are working on that? We are working on that, yes. Okay, uh, to know what went wrong after that, uh, your glorious history. Uh, you lost uh, ODI status in 2012, even, even you lost T20I status then, at that time. <coughs> Every T20 I, T20 match was not 20 i now it's uh, every match was 20 what you feel what what went wrong over that period like it, that certainly you were, we were playing all the world cup and certainly you are nowhere in the cricket uh, it was all as i said our legends those who played uh, two three and above world cups uh, they were all agements the ticolo odoyo dumbe suji brothers yeah you know they are the same age and uh, in that one and two years uh, they all retired at a time Mm -hmm. and uh, replacement normally you will see somebody like if Dhoni goes out uh, there is Kohli to replace him or before Kohli will go somebody to replace him it has to be a chain must follow and uh, you know if six to seven players moves out and uh, legends move uh, moves out so you, uh, so you depended a lot on a sim certain set of players and you didn't work for uh, for the backups the backups you can say the, the grassroots the chain uh, the chain uh, can we say at, at, at that time there, there was a no investment in domestic cricket or nothing about the grassroots cricket? Uh, no, uh, as I said, replacing six, seven players at a time, uh, it becomes uh, very few you countries you will not have, have a problem bench, like bench, India. Bench strength before also, like when they are playing, they could have bench strength, they, they could have held field press rise, they would have more better than even even when they, the, the, the set of players were there, when there have been a bench strength, yeah. they would also get pressurized and the perform right yes yes right uh, that's what we want to try now so we don't repeat the same things which happened uh, like to have our main national team score then kenya a under 19 same uh, when i talk about uh, cricket it's not only men's even the women's yeah, yeah so women's uh, same women's women's uh, a under 19 so we'll make sure the the program we have the structure we make a very solid and uh, strong structure and uh, you know th there are two things one is a uh, grassroots which you, we have to concentrate from let's say from the age of 10 and 12 it takes time but believe me once they reach 19 they are solid now they are ready and uh, meanwhile same time we also have to concentrate on our national team which is already there how to improve them how to so give them the best you, uh, you you keep on improving bench bench strength backup also yes yes and that is all about you know it's about sponsorship the exposures of uh, matches and uh, mm -hmm. all those things yeah so uh, it's uh, Kenyan cricket is sometimes blamed like <coughs> it all all the money Kenyan cricket was spending it spending the national team it, was that a mistake was that a mistake at the time at the time uh, no uh, it was not a mistake actually uh, as I said just uh, the lineup the structure somehow I'm not saying the previous guy who were there they didn't do a job mm. they did a great job they did a great job that's why our team was there hi yeah so it's all about uh, it's about a time. Uh, no team will remain there. Even sometimes you will see uh, Sri Lanka. There was a time they were uh, winners of World Cups, and uh, suddenly they were struggling to qualify. Also, same with West Indies. So time changes, and uh, but what we do, we'll we'll try our best to to bring the cricket. Back. Sometimes Kenya, uh, if you talk to any Kenyan cricketers or Kenyan cricketers, they say like 
there was a lack of support from ICC as well when they were uh, they were not performing and they were they had ne they needed the support of the ICG the most at the time uh, they didn't help them get matches and all these things so was it the case uh, no that was not a case ICC I believe ICC we get the uh, not we only all the teams they, they really get a very strong and good support from ICC so we cannot blame ICC or even our national board sometimes it's performance it's your uh, the grassroots you say or the current team you have and uh, it's all about timing i'll say but uh, for that we cannot blame icc or even our board but yeah. but you, you have uh, lots of support from uh, bcci indian cricket board south mm. african cricket <coughs> board zimbabwe cricket board yeah. they were lots they were supporting you a lot they were giving you a match try trying yeah. triangular series all these things but uh, suddenly uh, the relationship with these uh, boards also was not good or there were, there were not matches over there yeah yeah and that that depends on a, on a level where you are in a ranking where you are obviously when your ranking goes down uh, you will not get the good teams to give you matches yeah uh, mm -hmm. i don't know how to explain you about the ranking yeah. point system mm -hmm. Yeah, like if, if uh, Kenya wins against Sri Lanka, automatically we get more, more points. Ring, yeah. If you yeah. win against and they, they lose the good. big points yeah. also. So even sometimes team, you will you'll find the good big team will never yeah, would like to play with the lower team. Unfortunately, losing. if they lose also. Okay, before it was not like that, but now currently when you want to like Nepal, when we ask Nepal, we really appreciate their support. Currently mm -hmm. Nepal, they are high there and Kenya, we are there. Yeah, you are in yeah. 31 and Nepal is in T20. <coughs> yeah, I think somewhere Nepal in 15 or 16. 16. Yeah. Yes, so it is really very good support we are getting from Nepal. And believe me, winning and losing, it's always there in a sports. It's not about winning and losing, it's about support. Yeah, today, as I said, there was a time Kenya was there in top and Nepal was not even nearby there, but yeah. now it's opposite. Yes, so, yes. so the relation is the main thing and uh, supporting each other. And uh, we are lucky that we are getting uh, good support. Yeah, just in my last interview, I talked with Chatur Bahadur Chanji and he said, yeah that when uh, we will support other team then yes. higher team will also support us that will true be the, yeah that is karma you know that is a chain uh, that is a chain when you support uh, the teams who are below you uh, the teams who are above you all will also support you and there is always the cricketers from kenya and like i said read in the kenyan uh, newspapers cricket, cricket, cricketers i sometimes say that there's a lack of uh, uh, there is a, a lack of effort from the kenyan cricket board uh, to revive the cricket during the period uh, it's, I, I don't know. So you are, say, but I you are in the cricket board. Maybe you are in another position. You no, I, I've never been in a cr cricket board no, before. This is my first time, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you know, every board they they try their best. They give their best hundred percent. So it it depends. Uh, like in a class, uh, fifty students would be there, but not all can be number one or number two. Obviously, it will go one, two, three, five. So we can we, what you can say the board like the team we say Kenya the team we had two thousand three when we reached semi finals, mm -hmm. yeah that was uh, one of the best team. So what uh, no guarantee it doesn't mean after that when we went down the team was not good. The team was still good, uh, but it depends sometimes in a time and uh, the how the board. Yeah, purpose. like uh, <coughs> like uh, uh, your captain. Uh, Mo some once captain Maurice Odumbe. Maurice Odumbe. Yeah, who was great. Uh, Maurice Odumbe. Yeah, who was was uh, blamed for, for match fixing and banned for five years, and maybe that has also caused uh, lacking in the setting uh, setting back for the Kenyan uh, cricket. Uh, no, no, that was he, he was the he was the ideal for a lot of yes, Kenyan yes, Kenyan yes. cricket youngsters. Mm. So when you see uh, that thing, he was blamed and banned for the five years. Yes, it would have. Uh, yeah, no, no, that, uh, that uh, didn't make any difference. Uh, it was uh, I, 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 because I have never followed that time. What was actually what I know he was banned and his band is uh, over now. So he's back to coaching. Uh, he is obviously a legend, legend of uh, cricket Kenya. Yeah, I've, I've seen him playing. He played, he played great cricket. Even he now when he plays uh, after he's 50, almost 50, he still uh, scores 50s and 100s and gets the wickets. Yeah, so, so that, that's the politics uh, yeah. which they still have. Yeah, yeah. That, but uh, is cricket so not m so popular in Kenya? I think cricket is not much popular game in Kenya. Like, uh, if you see five most popular games in Kenya, cricket is not there. No, cricket is not our number one game. Uh, our number one game is football, which we have never played a World Cup uh, football. But the most popular game we have there is a uh, football. Yeah, cricket uh, is not that uh, that much, but we are trying to take it into the, the schools and uh, academies, 
which which will make it uh, famous yeah and, and uh, there was a charge of corruption for the well, that corruption charge and even the board was dismissed lots of time and you have a, uh, uh, that uh, a body a body to yeah. make the board like it happened once in nepal as well yeah uh not no, not really corruptions uh, i i will say the competition among the two part like a politics wherever you see uh, the national politics and the board uh, it was like taking going to the courts and those kind of and things and the normalization committee yeah then we got a normalization uh, committee which they did a great job really and uh, recently they managed it nicely and uh, and they blame that the icc gave 17 millions and there are no nothing about that no yeah. no there is nothing like that uh, whatever icc gave obviously icc take uh, account for that and uh, all is well in that way uh, you know media how they talk or individually or personally people no icc But also <coughs> icc also blamed the corruption and they you are still in the control funding yes we are in i think nepal was also in a control funding, funding recently yeah. only i think one yes. or two months ago they are out of uh, control nepal funding nepal is nepal uh, board also blamed of corruption yeah, yeah no control funding means uh, you see now again we are starting from zero you can say hmm. uh, so they monitor you the way you are running the way it requires if you are going in a, in a good way they can remove in a couple of months or uh, whatever so control funding doesn't mean that they don't trust us it's like they are training us now how to work in uh, the way of working and uh, i am sure we we are doing well and uh, in a very short period uh, we'll be out of control funding and uh, about the cricket over there once uh, club cricket was very good in nairobi actually yes. the kana club was very popular lots of yeah. indian players like sanjay manjrekar yes. sandeep patil who later on became coach of uh, kenya as well and praveen amri like others yeah. uh, other players also so, so many players, indians lots uh, yeah. of indian players used to go there they used to come and play as yeah. a pro as a professional yeah, as pro. uh, till so, today we have the we have the same things uh, we are getting uh, the league is the same npca league nairobi provincial cricket association uh, that league is there and uh, still we get a pros the craze about cricket is very good is too high there it is just our standard uh, in ranking wise it it's in nairobi down. nairobi quite quite popular yes nairobi and is our capital have two or three counties there it's it's, it's quite there but yeah nairobi is there mombasa mm. uh, rift valley it is there and mm. now uh, cricket is becoming more famous in uh, into different like more than 27 counties mm. before it was only in 3 4 counties so in in, in next 4 5 6 7 years we'll see the cricket most Our favorite and uh, famous game. So you have plans, plans to make it fam- yes, popular. Yes, yes, we have a plan. Like not having the cricket in the apart from this, you told the three three counties and other yeah. counties. I don't know how many counties are there in uh, Kenya. We have fifty seven, forty seven, forty seven counties. <coughs> means uh, lots of counties are yeah. still forty three counties. You haven't, yeah, like you said, you don't have much cricket. Yeah. So uh, is it hampering uh, the finding the tra- talents? You have to search it from the same three. provinces yes uh, same thing province you know uh, as i said cricket is uh, was currently only in three counties most of it yeah uh, so obviously but now when the game spreads goes to a different you will get a talent you never know from a small county you might get a very good bowler very mm. and uh, i think most of the time you will see even in our indian uh, cricketers uh, so many cricketers come from uh, villages and uh, the talent you get from a small places So we we are spreading a game into we are trying our best. So how how we are planning to go beyond these three counties? <coughs> I know it's it's a structure that we have to introduce in a school, uh, coachings. Uh, we have to give the coaches to the counties, different counties. Uh, they start from let's say two schools from there, three, and keep on moving that way. So and we also train the school teachers also. So because the the, the beginning starting. they can uh, introduce the game after that once we see the interest is there we now give them a coach and uh, it is a system step by step it goes and uh, then now we bring them to uh, for national level so you are re- reviving the club cricket as well and club cricket was good and it is uh, still good we don't need to revive club cricket it is there is no break but club the players from other country are not coming this day <coughs> no so they are coming they are coming players coming from uh, india uh, pakistan we always get uh, plays like before as you said amre was there and uh, so many other kona william uh, martin jacob so many plays so even now we are getting plays but not that big names or famous plays like before 
Okay. So, we have experience of doing 2000 ICC, uh, ICC uh, trophy as well, ICC knockout trophy actually I think. Yeah. So, uh, it is a quite a big trophy, we have uh, some <coughs> money in the cricket. And do you feel that uh, spending uh, lots of money just to glamorize cricket and just feeling like that are not spending, not uh, spending in a grassroots level, yeah. level at that time uh, has, has been uh, the has been the catalyst for this thing happening these days yeah yes somehow you can i can say yes uh, <coughs> but uh, you see nowadays even uh, partnering uh, sponsorship and uh, what do you say the broadcasting it is uh, very famous not like before so th that's why we we stay we have taken a step on now calling nepal so we'll make sure that every month or uh, every two months we have one major so it it, it brings the craze back in, into people and even uh, grassroots now. Obviously, when your TV people will see your uh, stars in TV, they feel like now they get a morale of uh, coming and playing for a national team. So that is what we want to we want to create that competition and everything. Here. So how long how long you think that India will be again in the same same uh, same status like it was before? Oh, <laughs> it doesn't go overnight, but it will take little bit time. But I'm sure in a couple of uh, years or. Uh, in let's say in three years, four years, we might be there, and uh, you know, graph should be moving in a positive way. So I'm sure our uh, qualifying for <coughs> T20s one day that is our uh, first time now to come at least somewhere in 15, and then get in in a 12 or a 13 there. You said you said uh, you have to start from zero once again. What that you mean? What do you have to? What what you are planning? Uh, zero means uh, the system I am saying, uh, grassroots and those things. Yeah. Otherwise, you see, we are lucky. We are we are not starting that way from zero because cricket is already there. People knows the game. Yeah, the game of cricket is famous there. Yeah. So in that way, we are lucky. We are not like the other countries that they start from zero. Uh, cricket is already there, so it will be easier for us. It is just now reviving and uh, bring it it back. Uh, about the Kenyan population, mm. uh, how much cricket is more popular among Indian Kenyan or the African Kenyan as well? Uh, no, you cannot say Indian Kenyan, uh, even African Kenyans, uh, locals, we'll say locals, mm. it is famous. It is just about uh, grade, number, ranking, which is down. Otherwise, it is a famous game. It is mm. already there in uh, schools and colleges. And uh, from your experience, like, uh, uh, even Nepal, Nepal is in similar condition. A certain like kind of in not that high Kenya had become not uh, in Nepal not Nepal hasn't reached that height still uh, Nepal uh, gained some height later on uh, in uh, associated cricket it, it was quite good it was at par with Afghanistan some few days back a few years back now it's uh, lacking behind and uh, even uh, board also had the same same fate like Kenyan board it was also in the control funding like you said just few uh, few days back it was yeah. And now it, removed, it, it, yeah. it, removed it, it removed it. So, from your experience, what do you feel Nepali cricket has to do? Nepali, maybe you have talked to the board members also, share the experience also from Kenyan experience. Uh, what 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 do you think Nepal has to do to get in the level? Uh, I think it's all about the, the getting the right technical groups, uh, matches, sponsorship and back-to-back -back games as I said those are the normal things and whereby when you talk about ICC and uh, nowadays sponsorship is a lot many sponsorships you can get not like before yeah so, so what kind of sponsorship it means in sponsorship means you're partnering with uh, the streaming people or you to have your own private sponsors well wishers uh, getting funding from ICC there are many ways uh, you can get a funding there so it's all so about because once you have a good sponsor strong sponsor you can facilitate your team when you pay them well obviously you will see the different uh, performance otherwise they'll be there in the ground but their mind is at home or maybe with the problems they are facing so that is why you know we call it professional if they are uh, playing for their national team i believe they must get their requirement at least even if you don't pay too high but uh, which is finishing their uh, problem so that once they are in the ground they are there 100 percent I think that is the thing for a player and player you know uh, their life is very short when I talk about sports mm -hmm. uh, player one small injury can just uh, all your hard work you've done lifetime you know especially when I talk about uh, bowlers they get a shoulder and a back problem and so many things so sportsmen their life is short and uh, nation they have to look after them even, even, even their studies is 
studies the samples they yeah. were really playing and they couldn't continue study later on also yes. that also so, so it is really difficult for a sportsman one you know the sportsman when they reach 35 to 40 years they have to retire they like it or no because the competition the the under 19 or 20 years old boy and a 40 they cannot compare in a fitness level or whatever and the eye side when we talk about the eye side and the physics and so so uh, you mean to say to, uh, to make the players play cricket regularly you have to uh, uh, you have to have to pay them yes you have money. to give them a facility you have to give them uh, the best coaches and for the best coaches you know uh, you can have a coach of you are paying uh, $3,000 and even $15,000 mm -hmm. so it all depends on the facilities uh, analyzing video analyzing team there are many things which uh, you can only do it when you have a good sponsors and a good ranking so that you are getting good package from ICC yeah. uh, I suspect it depends on the ranking it, it depends on the ranking so Nepal just now Nepal is struggling to uh, to con uh, to retain the ODI status, yeah. it is in, it is in sixth position right now in the uh, uh, division two. Uh, yeah. If it's not in the five, Nepal will not be ODI anymore. Yeah. So uh, at the time, they are struggling, and obviously, like you said, the ICC funding will also decrease at that time. Yeah. So uh, if that happens, yeah. you have experienced that thing. What should <coughs> Nepal do? No Nepal, but uh, I. I uh, I will not say if that happens uh, because I think I always go positive and the way Nepal is working they deserve I, I doubt they will they, they, they will get their best because uh, they are having a good tournaments and back to back and boys are doing well the board is doing well so let's not even say if and but uh, all the best to Nepal I wish they deserve what uh, so uh, what do, do you see in Nepal is lacking right now why why they are losing matches uh, that one I cannot say, but uh, you know. So you may have, you may have followed <coughs> follow the Nepali cricket. Yes, yes, follow. But uh, you oh. see the way we are practicing, we are playing. Uh, sure, the, even the other teams are doing the same. So and one has to win and one has to lose. So it is it is a competition has really gone high, and uh, to be there, as I said, you need to play maximum games and a good level of games, not only local tournaments, you know, international tournaments, like bilateral series, and uh, th that is how you can come come back. So it, like that, I said, <laughs> it's, ha it's, it's 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 hampering the status as well, ODA status. So when there will be no ODA status, lots of players will not be coming like uh, these players who are uh, playing will not be earning the same money they are earning right now yeah. so uh, that will that will be really be bad for the cricket right yeah it will be but as i said you know match, uh, again i'll say maximum games uh, players like uh, nepal you have your local leagues and uh, teams like india you will say or australia you see they, they are main league after after ranji trophy india have uh, ipl whereby when you play you face the different countries players bowlers batsmen even coaches and the facilities you get the money you get uh, so before i am sure even nepal players most of them may be joining the uh, neighbor countries uh, tournament like bangladesh or india or yeah there are very few there are few one sandeep lamichan is going to different different places like and paras khadka we have got with abu dhabi t uh, t10 actually okay. but paras khadka is already retired okay so and what do you like n india is a neighbor to nepal yeah. like uh, lots of people say when they, india is the neighbor you can get lots of benefit india is a, a top cricketing country so uh, but uh, nepali cricket is not able to get benefited from the I indian indian yeah. context in indian cricket so what do you feel that uh, what can we expect from India and have, what can we get from India? Like we are, Kenya was getting support from India earlier. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a level again. I'll say ranking levels. Uh, as I said now even uh, we are getting good support from India and other countries. And the situation, current situation, uh, even if India is willing to help, what they'll do, they they can send uh, the strong, uh, let's say, Ranji teams or club teams. But uh, we cannot get uh, matches from India A or India. Uh, because of ranking and uh, those things yeah so first of all i think we need to come back and uh, make ourselves capable uh, for that competition uh, we cannot just ask india to give us a game and if they don't so we say now india is bad or uh, we have to be capable of uh, at least being a competitive games otherwise it will be one side end. so you suggest to uh, uh, call any ranji teams or good good club cricket and practice with them uh, yes but uh, still not yet because we we need another one year to be capable uh, to compete with them 
Yeah, so hopefully in, uh, in next one year uh, we will be getting. We, as I said, we have a very good uh, relation with India and other teams. About Kenya so cricket. once we are a little bit uh, climbing and the ranking wise and our performance wise, we will definitely get support from our India uh, team. and Ranji teams over there. Yes. So what what <laughs> about Nepal? Do you feel Nepal uh, at the position where Nepal is? Yeah. Is, is it possible to get support from India or Pakistan like the thing that the Ranji teams or any? Uh, yes, good yes. Good it, it depends the relation. It depends on the relation, how good relation you have. And uh, you see, uh, I'll talk about myself. I cannot just stay there and sit in Kenya and expect somebody will come and uh, ask us uh, to have a bilateral. Mm -hmm. We need to move. We need to continuously in touch with the uh, people, the different uh, countries, chairmen or the board, and ask them for the games, bilateral series or something like that. Then only. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't happen itself. You have to make it. So, in fact, we are trying. My aim is, uh, like, once I go from here, I want to visit Zimbabwe, other country, even South Africa, even if they give their, the let's say, not uh, South Africa, we cannot go even compete with their A team. But some good sites, strong sites, if we get home, away, you know, seasons. Uh, when you have off-season, in we have off-season in Kenya, my plan is, boys must be planning to, uh, playing throughout. Mm -hmm. That is the only way because players once they pay they, they have a uh, contract. They have a contract currently our player doesn't have but it's very soon I think in a month mm -hmm. uh, period we are going to give them a contract. So they know they are safe now. Uh, from there the matches they play they get an um, allowance, match fees. You know that, that builds plus the maximum training, maximum matches they get it builds a player. Uh, like if we depend on ICC calendar, uh, what, 10 matches, uh, 15 matches yearly? So, but that 15 matches, you divide it to 365 days, uh, it is like uh, equal to nothing. Mm. It's nothing. Uh, so, we need to have bilateral series as much as possible for with a different, to build uh, that relation with uh, other teams. What I've come to do here, and uh, I'll again say thanks to Nepal board. Uh, they have uh, accepted our invitation. They are coming, and we'll be. We'll see in future if we can come to Nepal. We'll plan on that here. So at least once in a year, if Nepal comes to Kenya and Kenya comes to Nepal, same with other things like Zimbabwe or Namibia. So boys and <coughs> players, uh, everybody is busy there. Yeah, even your partners, streaming partners, broadcasting partners, they are also busy. If somebody sponsors you and uh, they get only maybe 15 matches a year, they are, uh, they mm. may, maybe they won't sponsor you next year or uh, after two years. So even if you once you keep busy, them busy, busy schedule, yeah. you, busy can, schedule. you can get sponsorship as well. <coughs> yes, yes. Sir. So uh, you've got to need the calendar as well, not, not just the ICC calendar, your own calendar. Yeah, we have to see the calendar wise, uh, like Nepal first, what you have seen, the time you want to invite them, are, are they free? Okay, we saw the ICC calendar wise, they don't have anything. But still, they might be planning something uh, apart from the ICC calendar. So, it is a month, two months now, our talk was on and finally, uh, we are done. Yeah, Nepal Cricket Association is planning for T20, Nep Nepal T20 League. <coughs> yeah. Nepal T20 League and any similar plans with, with Kenya as well? Uh, Kenya, currently, we have our local uh, uh, tournament is going on. And we, we also have a back-to-back -back, uh, around five, six tournaments. That is now I am saying live streaming. Uh, before Nepal comes, it is starting on this 13th, uh, 13 to 26. Uh, once 26, uh, sorry, 13 to 23, mm -hmm. three days break. Then Nepal is coming now, somewhere there, mm -hmm. up to five uh, T20, two days break. Then ODA. T20 will be regular one? Uh, yes, regular. The, the break? Uh, no, T20 there is no break. Mm -hmm. uh, one day, one day break in between. After that, uh, we have a T20 uh, again local. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, we are trying to have uh, one tournament in Dubai. So as I said, we want to keep our team, our local players, our national players, our under-19 boy, the busy back-to-back -back games. So, do you feel that too much T20 is uh, hampering the cricket? Like lots of batsmen are not uh, n not able to stay in the pitch yeah. many times. So lots of T20 is is, is uh, spoiling the players, batsmen basically. Uh, that that depends because it depends like uh, we are having a qualify of uh, T20 qualifiers so what we'll do we'll try to arrange uh, many T20 games 
so it's like a practice games we are playing so it depends next on our icc calendar or what we are having is upcoming is it a 50 hours or t20 so that is how it should go and uh, people goes that way but and there's a shorter of version you know t20 yeah. is a shorter version even for a supporter who wants to come and watch uh, just three hours yes just three hours uh, because your life uh, schedule for the work and uh, it's uh, very busy for everybody so when you talk about the interest for uh, to make it popular t20 in that way it's okay but it is good for the board for the earning like uh, even over here and they are planning to do it in the evening like night time there's night the time. floor lights <coughs> thinking that people could come after the office hours also yes but uh, lots of people if lots of people come lots of money will come but what will happen will come yeah, money will come, will come. Yes. but what will happen to the real cricket like let's like, say like, uh, what will happen to for to get ODI. the odi to get the st test. even the test status yeah uh, no, no, nothing will happen. Obviously, uh, once, it, once you keep on climbing, you see, you get your uh, games. As I said, if uh, 50 hours is coming, automatically the teams will be practicing 50 hours. If t 320 is coming, automatically they will bring. Uh, and once ranking wise, you are there. Uh, and you are there in a test status, you get a test status. Then what happens nowadays, any team goes to any country. They, they have a package like they start with T20, then ODI, and then they finish with this uh, test match. Yeah? So yeah. I think the system is well, nothing is, uh, uh, I don't see anything bad there. But uh, do you think that uh, you have the longer <laughs> version of cricket in the, in the domestic level as well to uh, make the batsman or bowler to uh, better their skill? We had longer version of the cricket in, 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 the, in, the, in the domestic level. Yeah, it is happening. All the countries, it happens. They are like leagues. They have different uh, domestic leagues uh, for T20, 50 hours. Uh, the league, I think, uh, apart from uh, London and other countries, they play even two days and three days, mm -hmm. which uh, I doubt Nepal and Kenya they are playing. Uh, but uh, You are playing two days? Over no, current, now no. But at that time, you were playing four days, three days, four days. Mm -hmm. Yes. At that time, when we were, if you were playing three days, four days, your cricket was better. And yeah, our cricket was better, yeah. and we, uh, we were to get even a test status that time, mm -hmm. which yeah, uh, yeah. which Bangladesh got that. Yes, you, you were about to get that even the test status. So you you feel that still uh, to uh, make the skill better, yeah. you need to start this longer version yes. of cricket. Yes, we need to start the longer version because that will bring a patience into you mm. to stay longer on the pitch. Yeah. So you have so plan in Kenya. Yes, we are we are planning that uh, at least we start with uh, three three day games our local yeah uh, I, I don't know about Nepal but uh, Kenya uh, mostly leagues are played on Sunday to Sunday mm -hmm. which again I am training that uh, throughout means, we means play throughout week holidays yes not only even if not holidays you know it's not all are going to school mm -hmm. so uh, cricket has to be a profession you have to earn like if you are going for a work you are getting 40 50 thousand mm -hmm. a salary and the same you get in cricket and cricket is your passion so what you will do you will choose cricket you will not choose the job the reason people are going to work the whole week and playing sundays only is because of when you sponsors the game is not that favorite uh, in the country uh, then those kind of problems happens but once you make the game famous favorite sponsorships and uh, you pay the the participating players you pay, pay a salary then it's okay otherwise what happens uh, you ask a player to take a leave and their salary is deducted mm -hmm. so obviously they'll do once twice but not every time so this what, what our plans are that we our weekdays the cricket should also the go in environment so cricket as a carrier <coughs> yes cricket as a carrier and which is uh, very very possible <coughs> we currently we are getting a sponsor we have got a partner and sponsor pacific sports uh, mm -hmm. dubai company and uh, they have a very good vision uh, very good uh, this tournament i am saying uh, t20 and uh, whatever they are the, the taking the rights for broadcasting and uh, uh, so their vision is also good they are sponsoring nicely the the weekdays uh, tournament i'm talking about so they are ready to sponsor the players and everything. So hopefully that's why when I say with the confidence that you know next one and a half to two years we will come back, make back the cricket where it was, uh, because we have a good planning and what you need is to accelerate now. You know you might have a very Diff good plan. Different with, with different <coughs> format of crickets. Yes, you might have a very. Everybody knows when we talk. Uh, everybody knows that oh, it should be done this way, not that way. But who will do that? You need mm. somebody who does that, not only talk. So I am sure we are going in a right way, right track. Uh, so you are, you are you are there there to walk over there, not not only to talk. 
Yes, no, 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 I don't believe in talking. Whatever I'll talk now, you'll find that thing will be happening in one or two months because what I talk, it is in my mind. The planning is already going on. So when we, I'm sure, we'll meet next time in a couple of months again. And most of the things what I've spoken now, uh, it could have been done already. Yeah, so plans are good. We need to, and we are doing that. We are doing that. That's great. I hope you, 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 you will be able to do all these things. Yeah. And in Nepal also, there's we all are talking about longer, longer version of cricket. There's no longer version of cricket still there. No, so, so you, uh, you need a longer version of cricket. How essential is the longer version of cricket? Two days, three days cricket. Like you said, uh, already said that to uh, make a batsman stay, stay on the pitch, to concentrate yeah. to yeah. over there. So because uh, you can you only suggest, get runs. You, you suggest us to uh, so maybe you have talked to the board or yeah. you suggest to at least uh, make two days cricket tournament over there. Yeah, two days. It it has to be there. Uh, I will not say about Nepal, but I will talk about Kenya only, which is in a plan. Uh, once I go back in a couple of days, we very soon we are starting from 13th onwards. Uh, the cricket will be throughout. No break, no nothing unless uh, off seasons when it's raining there. But even that time, we will be having away games now. So it's homes and aways, homes and aways. So uh, lastly, what do you have to say to the Nepali cricket fans? They are just worried about that our team could uh, could lose the ODI status. Maybe they are all are hopeful. Uh, still, there are lots of game you will get. And how, what do you suggest them? How suggest them and keep asking them love, keep loving cricket? Yes, I uh, loving cricket is already here in Nepal. People love the game of cricket. And uh, about thinking about losing ODI status or whatever, I doubt it will happen because I know Nepal board currently and the players, the whole entire team, they are really working hard. And working hard do means do games. Nepali players are talented. Yeah, they are, they are talented. They are talented and as I said, what they need is opportunities. Opportunity means in a salary wise, in a games wise, as much as they are into a, and I can see they are uh, doing whatever I am thinking, they have already started working. So, uh, like uh, just now, they've come from back to back two, three tournaments from Canada and uh, some other countries. USA, yeah. Yeah, USA. And uh, you see now, again, they, they are coming to Kenya. Once they come back from, uh, from Kenya, they have a T20. After th they have a very good plan, very good plan they have. And I'm sure uh, Nepal cricket, all the best to Nepal cricket. And uh, uh, I'll just tell you, never ever think about uh, getting worried about uh, missing ODI, which I doubt. Uh, they will miss. They are doing well. The players are good. The board working hard. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot for your support for Nepali cricket, and thanks a lot for the time. And best wishes for the Kenyan cricket also. And uh, we'll like to see the Kenyan cricket at the same height once again. Thank, thank you. For you. That. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Today I am going to talk about Kenya cricket. Kenya cricket. The history of Kenya cricket. What is the history of Nepali cricket? सबकले न सक्छ या नेपाली के सिक्न सक्छ भन्ने बारेमा यस्तै विभिन्न व्यक्तित्वहरु ल्याएर हामी तपाईहरुसँग कुराकानी गर्ने नै छौ अहिलेलाई अन्तर्वार्ता यति नै नमस्कार